Hey, what's going on everyone? I greatly appreciate you taking the time to click on my video. Hey, we're taking a look at some more crazy truck crashes. All right, let's go. All right, so we got two trucks here. Wow. This blue Freightliner ain't paying attention at all. And now he's all like torn up about it saying, you know, what the heck? I was trying to go this way. And he wasn't even looking across the street. That being said, they should have been doing a better job communicating with hand signals and stuff. Hey, come on, you're good to go. Um, I'll let you go first or whatever, but th there was nothing. All right, we got a mobile parking lot and a low boy. Well, step deck, flatbed trailer. Oh, blue tire off onto the side. I'm betting that was a steer tire. Oh, it looks like he got into the trees too. Let's take that one back. Yeah, he blew a tire. You see all the sh shrapnel coming off of the tires there. Right into the trees, too. Hope he's all right. All right, we got... Oh! All right, guys, we've talked about this how many times now. Merge one lane at a time, and then you, don't be, you, you won't be cutting anybody off. You won't be risking an accident. And better yet, if you've missed your turn or you're not going to make it to your turn... You got to do the uh, the old trucker 219 method here. Go down to the next road, then turn. Pay your penalty for not paying attention. All right, let's see what we got next. Oh, truck's dozing or medical condition. Oh, my gosh. Oh, right into the tree. Oh, and a jackknife, too. Yeah, hop out and check on him. Make sure he's all right. Goodness gracious, that was rough. Okay, we're coming up on a light here. Green light. Okay. Again, move over one lane at a time. If you can't make it, pay your penalty. Go up to the next road. Oh. Oh, this is the same video, just a different angle. That's cool. How often does that happen if it's not the one vehicle's equipment? Let's go ahead and take that back now that we can see both. Okay. Turn signal. He does have his turn signal on. But he very easily could have uh, picked up the pace and gone up the road a little bit. From that angle, it almost looks like it's the truck's fault, to be honest. You know, it looks like he got over into his lane. Luckily, the, the truck had the dash cam on it. Get yourselves a dash cam, even if it's a cheap one. Um, I think Amazon sells them for really cheap. Um, any sort of, even if it's terrible video quality, it's better to have something than nothing. All right, we got a parking lot situation. Oh, cutting it too tight. Tore up the whole front of that truck. Oh my gosh, man. When you're making turns, always watch your mirrors. Take a look out in front and then look at your mirror. Watch your mirror the whole time you're turning and then just glance at the front. Make sure nothing's coming up front. And and this, this can be avoided. And worst case scenario, you have to stop, back up, swing a little wider. It'll save you this headache. Anecdotal story about that. Um, I was in a truck stop. I was walking back from my truck and getting ready to walk around the outside of the parking spaces. And it was winter. The roads were icy. The parking lot was icy. And I seen a truck that was fixing to do this same thing. And I could tell right away that he wasn't going to make the turn. So instead of, you know, standing there waiting to get hit, I turned around and booked it the other direction as fast as I could penguin walking just to avoid slipping and falling and also not get hit by the trailer. Luckily I did because exactly what I thought was going to happen, happened. Ooh, truck coming over. Oh, man. Looks like it's, yeah, that's what those barriers are there for. Luckily it stopped him from going into the oncoming traffic. Oh man, dude. There's no reason you can't see this is, this pisses me off. Frankly, it pisses me off because it's on his driver's side, first of all, so he can see down that mirror fine. And there's no reason for him to absolutely need to get over right now. If there's a, a backup or something that you didn't see and the traffic is coming to a quick stop and you didn't save yourself enough space, that's one thing. But to be merging over just because you think that you are more important than everybody else, 
That kind of attitude pisses me off. All right, let's take it back real quick so we can get frustrated all over again. Yeah, like there's no urgency to get over other than he's in a hurry. That's crazy. Be a professional driver. Wait. I understand it takes us a little while sometimes, but you're moving in the right direction. All right, we got this guy kind of drifting. Oh, he's not even dr just drifting one way. He's going the other way, too. Oh, my goodness. Oh. I don't see any turn signals either, so. Oh, and a brake check. Good Lord. Come on now. There's no doubt in my mind that that was 100% intentional. Okay. Going a little quick here. Oh, trying to merge in. Not enough room to do so. Man. Like these kind of drivers shouldn't be out on the road. Oh, and now he's doing more. It's not just an, he was feeling inconvenient so he wanted to jump in front of people. He's pissed off at the, the driver with a dash cam. Yeah. And this is why you find uh, videos of truck drivers getting out on the side of the road and throwing hands. What you do in this situation though, real quick, if you are a truck driver that's got somebody upset at you for some reason and they're cutting you off like this, if there's an availability, pull off of the, the highway, pull off of the interstate, go, go to a truck stop, take a break, take a lap around your truck, whatever you got to do. Um, so that person can get further on down the road and the chances of you running into them later on, uh, your safety is more important than their anger. Um, I'd hate to see any driver end up getting hurt out here. Oh, got rear ended by, I can't even tell if that's another truck or a train. I'm guessing another truck. Yep. Ooh, it looks to be like a flatbed too. Okay, we got our four ways on here. This means either A, he's fixing a turn somewhere or traffic up ahead is slowing down or he's having a, a mechanical issue that he needs to let people know behind him, hey, things are getting slow, slow down. Oh, he's backing up for no reason. So what's happening in this most likely is he needs to turn into this business here and he almost missed the uh, turn. So he threw on his four ways, got on his brakes real quick, and then didn't see this car behind him and started backing up to make his turn. Now, in order to make the turn, you got to go past the entrance a little bit so you can swing wide and get in there. Yeah, again, we're in a situation where you pay your penalty for not paying attention. Go up, turn around somewhere else. Keep safety in mind. and he doesn't even realize. Okay, so we got a truck merging over, turns his turn signal on and gets right back over. Why did he do that? Got it. So there's a truck over here on the shoulder and he felt he needed to get back over to, you know, provide a little bit of safety for this guy if he's getting out of his truck working on something. Um, but it doesn't mean he should cause risk. Also, um, this car was kind of zipping by him a little bit, probably cause he was held up for a little while. Fair enough. But he did have his turn signal on and moved over in time. He just kind of cut him off. All right. Major snow going on. Major, major snow. Oh, and a backup ahead. Yeah. This happens more often than you realize. Oh man. What a hit. Yeah. No kidding. So this is why it's a good idea to have a CB radio or to look at your Google Maps to see if there's any traffic backups or anything. But honestly, a CB radio is your best instant information machine, especially as a trucker. Um, if you have a CB in your car, the trucker's channel is 1919, channel 19. Um, but they could have let them know that, hey, there's an accident up ahead, eastbound, mile mark or whatever. Um, it's backed up here, so back it down because most likely this is nothing but ice here and you know, there's no way to stop it even if he's seen it in time. But right now you can barely see it and he gets on his brakes pretty quickly and there's zero room for an out. You just slow down the best you can and brace for impact because that's about all that you can do.
He tried to find an out. Good job on that. Yeah, he got as far as he could get. This is why we slow down quite a bit when we see rain or snow. Okay, merging over without enough room to. Again, on the driver's side. Luckily, he didn't come all the way over. and get, eh, He's still coming. Sometimes, you know, you're, you're kind of getting zoned in on your drive and you do forget to check your mirror. It, it, it happens, but as you're merging, you should be looking in your mirror regardless of if you didn't check before. And notice that you're fixing to hit a car and jump back into your lane. No big deal. Nobody got hurt. Um, yeah, I mean, 11 hours driving, it, it's exhausting and you kind of lose focus a little bit sometimes. Things happen, but nevertheless... If you see you're making a mistake, fix your mistake before it causes a unreversible mistake. Ooh, wet conditions. Stop sign. Did he even try? Oh, he got... Okay. So this video must be sped up a little bit because he looked like he was hauling booty. Okay, he's got his turn signal on. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's time to throw hands. Hopefully he set his brake so his truck doesn't roll away while he's going to handle the situation. Are they wrestling? Are they hugging? I can't tell. Oh, he's got him in a headlock. Good old guillotine. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's one thing about truckers. Uh, I would say a good at least 80 to uh, 70 to 80 percent of truckers are good old boy rednecks. I don't mind throwing hands if, if there's a controversy or, or something going on that they need to. So be careful if you want to approach a truck driver with all that anger. You're liable to get it handed to you. Okay, we're sped up quite a bit here. Time lapse video. Just cruising down the interstate, trying to turn. Kind of jumped out of him on him a little bit. This truck is going really slow comparatively. Yeah, Mr. Swift most likely wasn't paying attention. Um, seeing that the traffic was starting to slow down, threw on his blinker and started merging and didn't take the time to look in his mirror. Luckily, nothing happened. A close call, but everybody got home that night. Okay, car merging over two lanes at a time. And boom, this trucker didn't see this car coming. There, there's no way he's seen when he's looking over here to merge that that car was coming. Watch when the truck starts to merge. Merge. They're merging over at the same time, basically. Yeah, this is a close call incident. When you're getting on the interstate behind a trucker, I understand that it takes us forever to get up to speed and you do want to zip around, but it looks like this truck was already on the interstate and this car was zippity zip around him just to get to where he was going. Take your time, merge over slowly. Uh, just be careful out there. Nothing happened on this one, just a close call. Okay, turn signal. That was a close one. Doesn't look like this car tried to slow down at all, though. Okay, it looks like uh, one of the side roads here. These ones are exiting. Oh, he's seen his mistake and merged back over. Not a big deal. This is what I was talking about in that earlier video. If you're merging and you see something's fixing to happen and you can avoid it, then he gets right back over though. He was had his turn signal on to merge. Merged a little quick. Didn't give it uh, quite three blinks there before he started to merge. Realized his issue. He knew he had enough room to merge over. But he's got on his brakes. So what he's going to do is merge back over to give this guy that has the dash cam um, the room to go ahead and go since he seems to be in such a rush and probably wave out the window say sorry I didn't mean to you know almost cut you off there oh 
Oh my gosh, this this has happened to me before. Yeah, not quite on the interstate, but I've noticed it lifting because what I'll end up doing is I'll latch one side, but get distracted on the way around and forget to latch the other side. This has happened before and you see, you do see the lid start to lift up a little bit and then you know you gotta pull off and, and re-fasten it. Otherwise this does happen. Yeah. Not a big deal, other than the fact that when it's up that high, when it's all the way up, you can't see nothing in front of you with that big old hood in the way. There, there's nothing to, nothing to do but stop in the middle of the road, shut it down, latch it up. Okay, merging over, not enough room to. Ah, uh, here we go, pay your penalty for not paying attention. He should have went up and turned around. He went two lanes at one time. Bad trucker. Oh, and then he still failed. He actually needed to be over here. Okay. 55 mile hour zone ahead. You seen the construction sign. Slowing down. Ah, here we go. Here's the issue. Truck's trying to merge. Okay. Now, I am not a big proponent of using blindside as an excuse. Um, most of the time you should be able to see and he should have been able to see the headlights if he was paying close enough attention however if there is any blind spot on a semi truck right here is it right here on the side right about where my face is to be honest right there i mean you can see in this hood mirror if they have it but not all trucks have this hood mirror um, he should have been able to see it but you should be able to see headlights or shadows or something like that so that you can tell and also just keeping an eye on the traffic as you go through your day. Um, you should be able to know, hey, this car came up on my side. All right, y'all, that's it for this one. I thank you for taking the time to watch my video. Remember to subscribe down below, and we'll catch you on the next one. All right, bye.